you're live. Hi, everybody. This is Ryan Schultz. I'm here with my friend Carlos Austin, who is recording this live stream. And today we are exploring, we are in VR chat, and we are exploring uh, a couple of worlds, I think, today. And the first one is This World by Dr. Morrow. And he is a Russian uh, content creator, and I am currently standing in what looks like a sort of a crumbling factory facility of some kind, where the, which is the starting point for our explorations today. I'm quite looking forward to this. I must confess I haven't been in VR chat for maybe a couple of months. And so uh, when Carlos suggested that we go exploring today, uh, some of the worlds of Dr. Morrow, I thought, hey, why not? So really glad to be here today and glad to be here with you, Carlos. And hello to everybody who is currently watching us on live stream. Yeah. Hello to everybody. And let's uh, don't forget to look up. There's always uh, amazing stuff he does up there, too. Yeah, the, the, the crumbling texture work on the ceiling here is just quite amazing. Yeah. Um, there's a real, there's a real mood about this place. It kind of reminds me of, um, uh, adventure games, ex exploration games, puzzle games, a little bit like Mist or Ribbon. That's the first impression that I get. Quite impressive, actually. And okay, so what's next, Carlos? So we are actually, uh, this is the third world that uh, Dr. Morrow has created. Uh, the first one was Organism, and it's still live. You can come and visit that. And then we have Epilogue 1, or Chapter 1, and then this is Chapter 2. And this one, I believe, he just released in May of this year, and um, I'm ready to go. So you just uh, start walking towards the back of the room and go into wherever you want and explore. Okay. The, the music, the background music is actually quite um, good. Very good choices. Yeah. Um, you can this hear is the, interesting. There's ladders that go up. There's, uh, but first I want to go to the back of the room here and see what we've got here. There's also Too bad I don't speak Russian. Oh, there seems to be a way that I can get up here through the tunnels. Okay, I'm just going to go back here. Okay, this appears to be a blocked entrance, at least now. So there's a panel over here, but I don't think I can actually do anything with it. So, all right, I'm going to go back to this interesting little tube thing. Interesting, interesting. And yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the tube. I love the music. Yeah. And that's it's very an interesting Rene, graphics here on the wall. Yeah. Rene Magritte. Magritte, yes. I was just going to say Magritte. And there's a TV screen here, but it looks like there's no controls, unfortunately. It's just static. So here I go into the tube. It looks like it goes in two directions. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're going to go this way first because. Oh, okay, there's like a video screen or something here. Epilogue, chapter two, okay. But nothing plays, it's just showing. Oh wait, there's a, a button here, does that work? No, all right. Um, Carlos, are you here? Oh, yes you are, you're right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, piles of autumn leaves. And uh, it looks like a oh, it's an upside down room. Oh, interesting. Look at the calendar. obviously the uh, calendar twenty thirty eight. Oh, fascinating. Okay, so we are obviously in the future, and we are upside down, which is always a good way to start an adventure, I think. So let's keep going. Oh wow! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, there's like a black hole and up at the top here, and it's just whirling. Now, there was a warning that you shouldn't be flying in this experience, so I'm going to take that at face value. 
uh, but it sure looks like you want to fly up to the top of this sort of a silo apartment building thing and look at what's in the black hole. Um, there is a phone booth and a ladder, so I am going to assume that I need to get on this ladder and go to get up to the phone booth and maybe call someone. So why don't I do that? Yes. Now I got to jump from the ladder to the phone booth, and I've forgotten how to jump in VR chat. That's one of the problems of being like a metaverse blogger that covers so many different social VR platforms. I can never remember what the, uh, I never get enough muscle memory to just automatically remember how to do a jump. So let me, give me a sec here. Nah, I just muted myself, hang on. Oh, that, okay, I can jump. So if I jump and, okay, this is not working. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, this is obviously a challenge that I have to get, so I'm going to try this again. You do. <laughs> now, if I can, oh wait, I can teleport over, can't I? Hang on, if I can see if I can remember how to do that. Oh, that's interesting. I don't seem to remember how to teleport. Okay, Carlos, how do you teleport again? Uh. I don't remember either, but I can tell you the, <laughs> Okay, you're going up the wrong Pardon? ladder. I am? Okay, yeah. well then I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm just going to give up then and move to the other ladder then. Let's see where the other ladder is. Oh, there's a ladder here. Interesting. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah. It's also got sort of that brutalist Soviet style architecture. It reminds me of the of 50s. The, uh, yeah, like Cold War. Yeah. You know? Okay, I'm up the second ladder, and all I see here is a window. So I'm going to go down to the window. Oh, there's stairs. Okay. With fin fingerprints. You know, I get. And. Oh, this is interesting. There's like big fingerprints on the windows. Yeah. I hear a buzzing noise. Yeah, it's like a transformer. Okay, and then there's like an elevator here with a palm print on it. Unfortunately, it looks like the button doesn't work. Out of service. So I'm going to keep going? Yeah. Wow, looking through the window, you get such a good view. Make sure that you uh, show the the live stream viewers what the view outside the window is because the windows are really dirty and the all this stuff is whirling around and moving up slowly it's really kind of interesting oh okay there are hallways here so i'm going to explore some hallways too but i'll wait for carlos to no, catch up with me go ahead i'm, I'm right behind you okay i'm going to take the hallway here to my right and it looks very much as though, oh, this is interesting. This appears to be a sort of, is that snow? Going in. Oh, wow, the texture work here is amazing. And there's this sort of glowy orb that looks like it's raining inside and with a caution uh, marker. And, oh, this is like some sort of temple. Fascinating. Okay, wow, this is really well done. And there's even flickering lights here. Um, wow, this is amazing. It's and right. there's some sort of door here. Um, I Oh, there's a door here to this door. All of them are doors. Okay. What happens? Nothing. Okay. What about this door? Do not enter or something it says. All right, well, let's see what happens when we approach the glowing orb or the rather the raining orb. Anything? Can I touch it? Okay, nothing happens. It sounds like the uh, end of a record, you know, where it's stuck at the, of an LP, a vinyl? Yes. Yeah, I don't actually hear the background music as loudly here in this, in this temple. It's, Let's uh, head back out into the hallway. Uh, no. 
I would uh, continue exploring in this room. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, there's a, an open door here, and what seems to be a light from an open window. I'm going to head over there. The the texturing work, it, you can tell that the Dr. Morrow spent a lot of time designing this. I, I just find it so wonderful that people can create worlds like this. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Just adjusting my headset a little bit here for comfort. Um, oh, okay. There's sort of a, a weird kind of portal door over here. Um, and there's also a door over there, and it says Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. So if we go by what the labels say, um, we're going to go with... Uh, chapter 2. I mean, Chapter 1. Oh, the, the curtains even move slightly. It's quite nice. Okay, quite a nice effect. Okay, I just screwed up and I turned on accidentally one-handed movement, so I gotta figure out how to get out of one-handed movement. Um, okay, um, Carlos, I need to uh, figure out how to get out of... I need to figure out how to get out of one-handed movement here first, and I need to... I also need to take my headset off for a second, because okay. uh, my my glasses are fogging up. So, uh, we're going to take uh, a quick pause while I uh, take off my headset, and then hopefully figure out how to get out of one-handed movement. Hang on. just barely fit the width of the Valve Index headset that I am wearing. And as I mentioned before, I don't really have a muscle memory for how VR chat works. So I got to spend a few minutes now that I've cleaned my glasses to figure out how to get out of one-handed movement mode. Um, or I could just stay in one-handed movement mode and just deal with it. No, fix it. You know what? I'm going to stay with one-handed what? Oh, go ahead and fix it. We're not in a rush. Okay, um, it, it is going to take me a minute to figure out how to I've got change a, I've got that. a screen that I can put up while you're doing that. And I one of my controllers seems to have stopped. Oh. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, Yeah, put up the screen. It's going to take me a few minutes to figure this out again. Okay. Okay, I think I'm okay now. All right, I am okay now. All right. We're back. Carlos? We're back. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go through the door here to Chapter 1. All right. Oh, interesting. You know, this reminds me of the bulletin boards at the university where I work as a librarian. Um, they recently passed regulations that it was a fire hazard to have so many notices attached. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can no longer do it. Uh, they just have approved bulletin boards and they don't let things get like this anymore. It used to be like this. Oh shit, I did it again. I landed up with one-handed movement. I don't know what I'm doing that I keep... Oh, okay, I think... No, I'm... Oh, man, now I've really screwed myself up. Um, I can't turn. even explain what's wrong right now. Um, we can see it. Uh, my one-handed movement menu is at a 45-degree angle, and I can't even see it. 
Let's go to screen. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my I'm gonna turn off my my hand headset my handsets to see if that fixes it. Okay. I'll move around the room while you're doing that. There you go. Um. Okay. It did something. I'm okay. I'm back. I don't know what I, I don't know what I keep doing to turn on one-handed movement, but I don't want it. So. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Let's see. There's a room here. Let's take a look at that. And the TV set. And I turned on one-handed movement again. I keep turning on one-handed movement, and I don't know why. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties, so I'm sorry. That's and my okay. controller's both turned off automatically. I don't know what happened. They're fully charged? They are, they are fully charged. There's... I'm just having all kinds of problems today. Um, I keep going moving. into one-handed movement, and I don't want to. And it keeps changing hands, and I don't know what's causing it. Oh, shit. And I got the 45-degree angle menu thing again. Carlos, I'm sorry. I yeah, should yeah. have spent a bit more time in That's VR okay. chat. I'm going to have to turn off my hand headset, my handsets again and turn them back on. All right. All right, it automatically goes into one-handed movement. I'm just and it just screwed up my menu again. So there is Google it. I think we're gonna have to stop and not live stream this because I don't know how much more trouble I'm gonna get into today. Well, as long as you can move around, you don't have to activate. Yeah, anything. well, that's the problem. I can't move around, and oh, and goodness. now both my hand controllers are flashing red. So. I am having problems that I think are going to completely botch this live stream, so I think we need to end it now. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm i willing to continue exploring but not live stream this because I don't think it's going to be much fun. And my... I, this, Carlos, we need to stop. I'm sorry. I can't even get my hand controllers to work now, and I can't move. It's weird. I can see your hands moving. Yeah, but I can't see my hands moving myself. There's, yeah. um... All right, I'm, I'm working again. Um, I'm gonna... Okay, I do some... Something is wrong. It keeps changing what hand is one-handed movement, and then it removes it, so... We're going to have to stop for today, at least the live stream. Well, Ryan, the other solution would be if you... Um, I can't move. I know. Just, uh, I'll stay in here, and you go out, uh, reset your headset, and I'll wait for you back at the entrance. And we'll just go from uh, there. It's all right. I guess, I guess you, can't, you can't just br ask me to come join you here. Uh, you can't. You have to come back um, the route. That's what. But we'll we'll move here fast because I know the way here. And that uh, way. All right. Yeah. Because I'm definite. I need to reset my. I probably yeah. need to reboot my computer as well. So. All right. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. And bookmark this. Okay.